Uh, Stephanie Miller, you've come all the way from warm and sunny L.A. to uh, sit up here, <laughs> shiver with the rest of us, and announce your status as an Obama groupie. So I bet, I bet you don't think the inauguration coverage you has know, been too positive. I had picked out my Obama thong, and now I decided against it. I, uh, and let me just say in, in advance, this is not going to be a good hair day for me at all. <laughs> These guys can't grovel enough to apologize to him and tell them he's so they're sorry and kiss his ring. And it's not solving any of the really serious problems that the country is, is facing. You know who it's good for? Rush Limbaugh. He loves this attention. And if I could well, say something tonight that gets me that kind of attention, like maybe Rush Limbaugh <laughs> should be executed for treason. Uh, Lars, how about isn't that? Stephanie Miller, let's face it, Jim Cramer was playing on Jon Stewart's home court. So how do you score this basic cable showdown? Well, um, this is a technical term, uh, Howard, but kind of an ass kicking uh, is I mean, something has gone awry in our country, Howard, when, uh, you know, a financial guy is screaming and throwing pies on television and a comedian is giving really cogent economic analysis. David Brooks of the New York Times says, stop with the sleeveless dresses. Here's his quote. Sometimes I think half the reason Obama ran for president is so Michelle would have a platform to show off her biceps. Your reaction? Well, at least he's looking at the uh, big issues facing America. It's the first time <laughs> somebody on the right has ever been for arms control, Howard. Uh, look, which is it? They're saying, oh, he's going, he's having parties, he's going on the Tonight Show, get to work. And then they say he's doing too much. Which is it? Is he doing too much work or is, <laughs> or is he playing too much? You know, as the president said the other day, you know, the American family doesn't have the choice of going, oh, am I going to deal with my kid's education or health care or, or the mortgage? They have to deal with all of it, and so does he. But this trip, I, I don't see how it could be any better uh, unless the Queen French kissed him and Gordon Brown did a back handspring. <laughs> they were thrilled to see him. He has some new solutions to, to some really big problems like we talked about. You know, no offense to my friends like Terry on the right, uh, who, and I say friend Terry in a really shallow television kind of way, but uh, <laughs> all I hear from you guys is no. All I hear is that you're against what President Obama's trying to do. I you don't agree with anything that Glenn Beck says, but what explains his appeal? You know, as Bill O'Reilly proves on a nightly basis, um, crazy is entertaining. I think that uh, it's his shtick, to be quite honest. I, I think Glenn Beck knows exactly what he's doing. I, you know, listen, my show is popular, but not that popular as his. My friends have said that I, I couldn't be crazier in person. I just need to let more of it out on the air. All right, so you're suffering, from, in you're suffering from insufficient craziness. Uh, how about Miss California? You know, to be that far right and out of touch with the American people and inarticulate, I think she's going to have to uh, go up against Sarah Palin for the uh, Republican nomination in 2012. That's not what most people think. I, I don't know if you've checked the news lately, but uh, I think New Hampshire just joined uh, several states yesterday I, in voting for gay marriage. I don't marriage, do my so marriage I, on I New Hampshire. speak for most people. Thank you. I'll stay with God. You stay with New Hampshire. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll stay godless, I guess. <laughs> Bernie Madoff using his firm as a personal family piggy bank. I don't think it's overplayed enough. In fact, the one thing that pissed me off the most, his niece spent $8 at Starbucks. I can't afford Starbucks. <laughs> Who Good can afford a Frappuccino these days? I'm only in radio. Dick Cheney should stay off TV. Do you want him to stay off TV? No, I want him to be on more and more. Dick, Dick, Dick. I love him. I cannot get enough. And Is the it... Republican Party's ratings will go down and down. And they'll have more evidence for the war crimes trial. <laughs> the war crimes trial. I mean, we kid, but this is serious. My dad was a prosecutor at Nuremberg. And I'm not kidding when I say, you know, look at the Senate Intelligence Committee and what uh, Colin Powell's aide is saying. They were using illegal techniques to get us into an illegal war. They were trying to look for the connection between Al Qaeda and Saddam. That's the big story. Donald Trump says those uh, semi nude and topless photos of Carrie Prejean were lovely. Mm. She looked lovely, and I think it's probably because gay people did her hair and makeup. I was hoping for the same kind of press that Miss California got. I was going to bring a wind machine so I could say the wind blew my top up today. Because anyone that has a worse night than I do on Friday night agreeing to be on CNBC, I want as much publicity for bigger losers than me. There you go. I had nothing to do tonight. I was like, I either stay home and grab my Facebook name or come on CNBC. And here I am. Despite the He's Stephanie. The president of the United yeah. States. Seriously, is this the kind of small ball you guys are going to play no. for four years? These, like, you know, family values Republicans that have been lecturing us for years, I think they're startled to see actual family values, people that actually want to spend time with their first wife and their kids. That's what this is. And I got to tell you, I agree with you. Whatever health care plan we decide on, I hope it includes a spinal transplant for Democrats. Is it a Trojan horse to single payer? Public option. The second part of that phrase is option. Michael, how is, how is she going to get a reality show? It already is a reality <laughs> show. Isn't it help? I'm a celebrity governor. Get me out of here. What do you make of this uh, Republican love affair they got cooking over there in Senator Ensign's office? What do you make of the parents jumping in and paying the bill? 
Wow, and who knew that you get lovely parting gifts for adultery now? <laughs> Sorry I ruined your marriage. Here's a toaster oven and some cash. Uh, right. I've been listening to a lot of the fear mongering on health care, and apparently they're coming for our sugary drinks. My fruit drinks. Yes, they're not going to let ordinary families that are trying to fish have fruit drinks. They're going to tax the, the fizz thing right about out the of that. Julie, how do you feel about the House Intelligence Committee investigating whether the last administration was lying to the CIA and lying to the Congress? This would be good summer entertainment, wouldn't it? It sure would, Ed, and you're right. Uh, while they're, you know, taking a break from screwing up health care, what else do they have to do? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't see how you turn like your head somebody. from what is blatant law breaking. Ed, you know, I got to tell you, though, I'd be tired, too, if I had to. Do you know how many times he's had to combat Republican lies? I mean, part of what they're fighting with are just lies. So he has to come out and go, if you like the doctor and the plan you have now, you can keep it. Like, it's, it's an option. He has to keep it. Explaining it because they're they're not telling you know, the truth. Maybe, on the other side. Maybe. I'm so glad the president said something because if this happens to a Harvard professor who's yeah. friends with the president, imagine what's <laughs> happening to people that aren't. I think if we've learned one thing, if you're a black person in Yona House, you got to keep like six extra keys: one under the mat, <laughs> in the potted plant, on the door jam, put one in the hey, dog's hey, collar. Stephanie, I only have three, so I'm glad you said that. I'm going to double up <laughs> later tonight. Stephanie, who gets the victory out of this? I don't know, Ed, but I was told that there was going to be beer here on the show tonight. <laughs> for us to even have to talk about this. So I'm right away disappointed. Let me offer the female perspective here, Ed. Um, I, if you've ever been in a bar, I don't think men having more beer tends to solve anything. And I think having Joe Biden there, not a good idea. Because then you know something stupid will be said. He's Fred, probably already called yeah. Professor Gates clean and articulate. It's only going to get worse from here. I don't even know if this was a black and white thing. I think it was a guy thing. I think it was a who's is bigger fight, I think is what happened. And I think, you know, and it got out of control. I think it was impossible to be human and, not, and watch this and not uh, shed a tear. I think many of us uh, as women can, uh, can sympathize that Hillary Clinton as the wife did all the hard work and then the, uh, the guy got all the credit. But that's okay because it's a happy ending. You know, this is not time for your primal scream therapy, Ed. This is time to get your questions answered. You know, a lot of times, you know, the, these guys are, are being instructed to just disrupt and drown everybody else out. And Nancy Pelosi and Steny Hoyer are absolutely right. That's not American. Stephanie, I have two words for you and I need your response. John Edwards. Stephanie? Bastard person. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we playing some sort of game? Uh, you know, uh, here's a bipartisan thing, Ed. You know, that's the thing. We're more than happy to throw our own under the bus when they do something wrong. Mark Sanford should have used that excuse instead of the Appalachian Trail. What did you say about it? I mean, we better not say that, Stephanie. I know where you were on that old deal. The president. It does sound like Argentinian tale. Okay. okay. I, I knew you'd get away with that. And Carl Rove back in the news giving us some entertainment. Now, don't, don't don't lefties really want the Democrats to go after him full boat and caboodle on this? I, you know, I, I think one thing every time I see him on TV, Ed, and that is well, he's not in prison. Why? Is they're starting to believe all these right wing lies. We still have time to take this debate back. And Politico reported today that the White House is also swayed by, they call them their powerful talk show allies. allies. And you know who we're talking about, Ed, you and yeah. me. You and me. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We're the allies. Leprechauns and unicorns also are not specifically mentioned in the bill, not getting health insurance. It, it's, this is such a ridiculous argument. As you said, every nonpartisan fact checking organization said that uh, what Joe Wilson said is. A complete lie. We all know these are really complex issues, and I mean, I but think it's, it's a ridiculous. fair comedy skit, isn't it? If you're going to make fun of someone, I don't think, so. Larry. This is America, and apparently, we want our like erection pills to work immediately, even mm -hmm. if they it lasts four hours and you have to see your doctor. It has to work right away. I, for one, like a commander in chief that's going to take a second to think through the most important decision a commander in chief makes, and that is sending American troops into harm's way. So I, I like that he's thinking through the strategy. Is what gonna, is our strategy in will Afghanistan? Will he resemble now? Truman, like firing MacArthur? Well, I don't know, but I don't think that the generals should be discussing strategy in the media. Well, Green, you're you're a brilliant you're a brilliant evil. magician. Can you can you make Rush Limbaugh disappear? Because if you <laughs> I, could, I think I we'd can, all be a lot better off. I can only use my powers for evil. That's the deal I made with Satan. So no, I can't. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.